What is your worst sexual experience? My current girlfriend rubbed some muscle cream on my legs after a bit of sport. She then started to go down on me, forgetting to wash her hands after the cream. I started to feel a little hot and cold sensation which ended up in scorching pain for about 30 minutes. We laugh about it today, but in the heat of the moment, it was the worst thing ever. In the heat of the moment it wasn't cool. FDFY. Have my upvote good sir. Having sex with a friend. Because we were both lonely and depressed. Sad. Passionless experience that ruined the friendship. AI I've been there. Her saying I don't want to ruin things before trying again later on never helped. In my experience. I don't want to ruin things is like the non-problematic no homo of ducking your friends. Sad trombone noise. When I was 20. I had a long distance girlfriend. And when she was in town. We would really go at it. Yeah. No. Releasing a couple months of pent up sexual frustration in a couple days. I got into a weird position. And it was straining something in me. I just didn't know what. I'm about to switch. But then I noticed she was responding really well. So I said to myself man. I'll just suck it up. And went for it for a while till she got hers. We both finished. And I thought all was good. She left. And a week later I noticed a bulge forming just above my dick. Fearing the worst, dick cancer or some such nonsense. I went and saw a doctor. Yep. Got a hernia. Had to get surgery. TLDR. Great sex. Very expensive. 7 tenths. Hernias are such bullshit. I got a gym buddy who deadlifts around 350 pounds on the regular. Has a strong core. And got a hernia from sneezing too hard. While bent over tying his shoelaces. I don't want to believe, just because that is so horrible, and I deadlift and involuntarily I sneeze like a monster. This was about 5 or 6 years ago. First time doing the deed with a new GF. She stops halfway through, and runs to the bathroom. Doesn't come back, after like 10 minutes, and then I hear her calling for me telling me not to come in, but asking if I can go get some depends for her from CVS. Ah, uh, okay, go, come back. Hand them to her without looking into the bathroom. Five minutes later she tells me she has lost a lot of blood and asks if I can drive her to the hospital. The closest one being the hospital she works at as a nurse. We get there. Sign into the reception desk of the ER. While waiting to be seen by the Tridge nurse. She starts to pass out on my shoulder from blood loss. They finally see us and the Tridge nurse asks her directly in front of me in the Tridge room if this is the product of domestic abuse. She says no thankfully, then they take her to the back, and the doctors find a tear that has been causing all of the bleeding. They let her go, and I take her home. It's now like 2am and I've been riding this roller coaster for about 6 hours. I will never forget that experience. Scared the shit out of me on multiple levels. Damn dude you literally tore her a new one. It's not mine, but I had a boyfriend when I was 19. And they had a very small apartment. His mom was sleeping in the middle room. And you had to go through that to get to his room. One night I slept over. And I really needed to be around 5am. I got up. Opened the door. Went in and saw his mom ducking with a dude. I panicked and instead going back to my BFS room. I ran into the bathroom. I dk how long I was there for. But I remember them saying she's never gonna come out. I eventually did. Apologized like 500 times, and even though it was 11 years ago, I'm still embarrassed, and I still have certain images in my head. I remember them saying she's never gonna come out. I eventually did. Silly me. I saw a completely different scenario play out in my head. Are you okay in there? Apostrophe. I'm gay. Apostrophe. He stops mid thrust and says I know this is a bad time to say this. But I think we should just be friends. I'm curious what your next move was. Just lock eyes with him and stare. First one to flinch. Loses and must concede. My ex once kicked me in the stomach. When she had an orgasm. I was on top. So I fell to the floor and split my head open. Had to stay in hospital overnight. Edit. Somehow this seems to be interesting. So I try to answer some questions. I had to go to the hospital. Because I was a bit lifelated. There was some blood, but not in alarming amounts. This happened about 10 years ago. And yes she was very flexible. No I'm not from US. 
Hence my poor English. This ain't the reason we broke up. It was all the shit she is made of. I told to the hospital staff that I just fell and only banged my head. I think they didn't believe me. Yes it was the kind of sex that made you hold on to your dear life. Wow you gave busting a nut a whole new meaning. I do hope you're okay though. Yeah I'm fine. That ain't the biggest scar she gave me. Having sex with a girl at a house party who bled over both of us. But because it was dark neither of us realized. We proceeded to walk into a house party full of people with blood over our clothes and hands. Who've been there. She is really wet. She must be super into me. Thankfully it wasn't at a house party and only sheets had to be thrown out. That must have been hyper embarrassing for both of you. Friend of mine who used to be a real alcoholic. Told me this happened to a friend. Apostrophe. Picked up a girl in a bar while barely conscious. Get home. And can't remember a thing after that. Wakes up in the morning. Hung over. Head pounding like hell. Looks over. And she's ugly as sin. So ugly. He's tempted to chew his arm off. To get away from her without waking her. Akakoyo duck. Anyway. He finally slides arm out from under her. Stumbles to the bathroom cause he's got a pee so bad. Mumbling to himself over and over. Please. God. Tell me I didn't duck her. She's so ugly. Tell me I didn't. Apostrophe. He gets to the toilet. As he's emptying his full bladder. Looks in the mirror. The bottom half of his face is covered in dried blood. I one time I accidentally tore one of my ex's piercings out when it got caught in the sheet. She cried and there was a lot of blood. Totally an accident, but a shitty one for sure. My girlfriend had her nipple piercing fall out when the ball unscrewed and she asked me to try to get it back in, no matter the screaming. Nope. I don't blame her. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. That piercing I sent one you go through twice. My worst. And incidentally, first time ever having full on sex happened when I was 17. Was briefly dating a girl in the year below me. She was always one of those super confident, super experienced girls who bragged about how good she was in bed. Cut to the summer before my senior year, months after a previous sexual encounter with her ended with me breaking an ankle. Another story for another time. We are at my place, home alone, listening to music and just chilling in my bed. I don't recall the exact circumstances, but we decide that it was a good time to have sex. So we are doing our thing, making out, using hands, mouth, etc. Finally, finally the moment arrives. I'm about to get laid for the first time ever. She's on top of me, whisper in my ear something like warn me before you go off. And next thing I know I'm inside her. For the first couple minutes my thoughts are I don't get what the big deal is about sex. But my girlfriend is getting super into it. Grinding super hard and fast. Basically slamming herself down on me. Out of nowhere I feel this absolutely excruciating pain. And I swear to god I hear something snap. Somehow or another my junk and her pelvic bone have just smashed together. Without thinking I shove her off me and fall out of bed. Not quite screaming in pain. But absolutely gasping in agony. Some time passes. Maybe 10. 15 minutes. And I'm still super swollen. And the pain just won't relent. I. Finally give up. And call my mother. And tell her I need her to take me to the hospital. A few hours later I'm lying in the hospital bed. Hooked up to some painkiller. And I learn. That my girlfriend sprained my penis. This marked the second sex related injury I'd injured from her. And we broke up shortly after. TL. Doctor. I sprained my penis the first time I ever had sex. Stories like this make me so paranoid. Never broke my dick. And I really hope I never do. How'd you break your ankle though? I was with a girl who had no emotion at all. No moaning. No heavy breathing. Nothing. She just kind of laid there staring at me. She wanted to be on top at one point, and I thought oh maybe she's just more into that. Nope. She just kind of. Sat there. Again. Blankly staring at me. No movement at all. I asked her afterwards if everything was fine, and she went holy shit it was amazing. I was so ducking confused. Edit. To the people saying sexual abuse, maybe? I really don't know. This happened a few years after high school. She was the one that initiated fooling around. And was even the one that said you should get a condom. 
she seemed to have way more emotion during foreplay and appeared to be into it when she wasn't responding during sex. I did ask at one point if she wanted me to stop, to which she replied duck no, you better not. The whole situation was bizarre. I honestly felt like I did something wrong for the next few days and felt guilty as hell. I asked her a few days later if she was okay and apologized if I made her uncomfortable. She was adamant she was okay and even said I may need that again sometime. I had no idea how to approach the topic of you laid there like a lifeless person. We didn't have sex again after that night. We are still friends and see each other regularly. Since she married one of my good friends, she never acted awkward or timid after we slept together. When she came did she just give you a thumbs up or finger guns? I assume it was no movement and a disinterested HMM. Apostrophe. Myself and a good friend went through a stint where we had casual sex. Mostly because we were bored and in college. Once while we were hooking up, she asked me to choke her. So naturally I obliged. Then she said harder. So I did. Then she said harder again. So I did. Turns out, she shouldn't have flown that close to the sun. Her eyes rolled back into her head, not the good way, and she went limp. Immediately I start freaking the duck out thinking I just killed this poor girl. She wakes up, after about 10 of the longest seconds of my life, in a full blown panic attack. I got her calmed down and everything ended up alright. But I definitely thought I killed her, and I was definitely going to prison. We're still great friends, and laugh about it now. But I've still never gone soft that fast in my life. On god this is one of my biggest fears. My ex was super into rough sex, and liked to be choked, and slapped and degraded. The whole nine yards. We were both each. Others first and seeing how freaky she was I was with it you feel me. I ended up breaking up with her, and the breakup wasn't terrible. But then I would read, and hear these stories from guys about girls, who told the police, that their ex slash boyfriends were abusing them, and use the marks from all the rough sex as proof. That shit got me paranoid as hell now, and I'm uber skeptical, when a girl asks me to choke her or some shit. You should be careful with both sides of this fence. Grace Millane. Very romantic jacuzzi tub setting with music and candles. She's sitting on top facing the same way as me, leans back to kiss me, and her hair catches fire from the candles behind us. Luckily it was put out quickly, but the smell and cleanup was the worst. Oh baby you're on fire. Apostrophe. OMG so are you. Apostrophe. No seriously you're on fire. Apostrophe. Edit. My most awarded comment and it's about fire and sex. I'm not mad about that. It would have been appropriate if Alicia Keys girl on fire was playing in the background. My coworker and I both got wasted after the work holiday party and started hooking up. Right before we were gonna do the deed I started having second thoughts. Not knowing how to verbalize that in my altered state of mind. I just burst into tears. He probably thinks the sight of his dick made me cry. We are cool now, but he didn't look me in the eye for weeks. That's either a massive confidence boost or a massive ego destroyer depending on why you think she cried. The real personality test. I went down. She came. She climbed on. She started sobbing. I'm still inside her. Her involuntary spasms from crying are getting me closer to the edge while she's telling me that she's never gotten off with a guy before and her boyfriend is gonna be so mad. She told me they broke up. I then had the least sexy orgasm ever because of the sobbing vibrations. Somehow the condom broke. Pregnancy scare. Ladies and gentlemen. My first time. Holy shit. Okay so my ex and I, early slash mid 20s, decided to have a quickie before work. Well, we were fighting the clock so there wasn't much foreplay. He ducked me from behind on the bed. We finish and then all I hear is this horrified scream. I look and see blood all over the sheets. My immediate thought was oh duck that's a heavy and unexpected period. Then I see him holding his dick. Blood literally spurting through hands. Turns out he ripped his frenulum. Foreplay is important friends. Oh. The banjo snap. I've had that. Ducking hell. I wince in sympathy. Q an old cowalker of mine was in disbelief that I hadn't ripped my banjo string before. Apparently that's the only way to know if you've had good sex. 
slept for the first time with a guy I've been seeing for 2 months. He was done in under 2 minutes and wanted to go to sleep. I was like, okay, and turned sideways to face the wall. He spooned me and cut my right breast from behind and said this is how I sleep with my mom. And that's where I stopped scrolling. Good night Reddit. Never change my exact thought. Please click subscribe if you enjoyed this video.